In this video, we will be studying about the operations of foreign market. Now, what two ways the operations are conducted in the foreign exchange market? The number one is spot market operations, or you can also say the current market operations. And the second one is your forward market operations. Now, let's understand the spot market operations. I give you an example that you, are, you have purchased a machinery from USA and at that point of time your US dollar was rupees 40. But the day you are making payment, the date of payment, your US dollar is let's say 45 rupees. So you will be paying according to the 45 rupees so this is the spot market the current market which means you are transacting at the rate which is currently prevailing in the market so your spot market or foreign exchange is that market which handles only spot transactions or the current transactions in terms of period of transactions, spot market is of daily nature, it does not trade in future deliveries. The rate of exchange which is determined in the spot market is known as the spot rate of exchange. The spot rate of exchange or the current rate of exchange is the rate at which happens to prevail at the time when transactions are incurred. Which means that you do not come into any contract, you do not make any forward contract. The rate which is prevailing due to the market forces of demand and supply at that particular time that only will be the rate which you will be coming into the transaction. So this is a spot rate. Spot rate means the rate at the time of transaction. So these are your spot market operations. Forward market operations. Now see what forward market operations are. You, the day you have bought your US dollar machinery, place in order was rupees forty. But at the time of payment, it was rupees forty five. So there is a risk to the buyer. In this case, the forward market operations, what happens, that you decide on to some common rate. That in future, whenever you have to make the payment, you will make rupees 41.50, let's suppose. So, in this case, the risk is hedged of you never know after one month when you have to make payment, what will be the exchange rate it might increase to very high level due to the market forces of demand and supply every second if your foreign exchange rate changes in the market so after one month how what will be the exchange rate when you have to make the payment you don't know so you come into the forward market operation so you come into the forward market contract so at that at this rate only i will give you whatever be the prevailing rate in the market does not matter after one month but we have come into the contract and i will pay you this much amount so in this way both of them are hedging their risk let's suppose if after one month the us dollar is let's say rupees 38 so the seller is at the risk right so you never know after one month what will be the exchange rate so both of them reduce their risk and they decide one common exchange rate so these are the forward market operations that the, on some future date you sign a contract of the exchange rate so you decide a forward exchange rate so this is the forward market operations i hope you have understood the operations of the foreign exchange market do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us